As you can see, Darby has the brand new TNT Championship belt a week ago. And uh, that's how they introduced it. Willy nilly. Uh, there you go, Darby has the new belt. You know, doesn't even show it, he's hide a side. Uh, oh, wait, wait, why, why does Cage have to weigh in first? It's because you're saying because he's the challenger. Right. Yeah. Well, but he's bigger. I think he's bigger. Why does he always act like he's yeah, Mr. Tough Guy? So you're making the rules now, Sean. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, how about, why is it that you gotta make him, we gotta make him wait first? I don't know. What matter, what, what point does it, what, 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 you know, what, what does it matter? Tony, if it's okay with you. It's okay with, I'm gonna be a tough guy. Oh, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll let him, I'll let him weigh in. Uh, he annoys me. 272 pounds. And why are they having a weight in? This isn't a weight class title. Is it just a way for them to introduce another uh, confrontation, a setting for a confrontation? Because we know, no, we do know, even in MMA, UFC, they do sometimes have uh, confrontations at the weigh in. This isn't cruiserweight title. This isn't a, a certain, certain weight title. It's the damn mid card title for TNA. Anybody, anybody can wrestle for it. There's no weight class. Well, yeah. The they keep, the they keep dragging every week. That's a 100 pound difference. Well, of course. Wait, wait a minute. Of course, it's a hundred over 100 pound weight difference. And look how cocky Ricky Starks is, and all these guys are. And then when a certain individual comes out, oh. They have to run, hide for, they have to run for the hills, head for the hills. Taz, you may say this feud has been nine months in the making, but in reality, it's 27 years. Cause I've dealt with shit in life from people like you. Wow. <laughs> yep. And shit that's piled higher than Taz. This ends tonight. So let's get to the fun part. Oh, Ricky Starks is uh, great acting. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, Tony Giovanni, take that microphone and take your white ass out of the ring because we're going to get busy here. Get your ass out of the ring. Of course Here's the deal, Dobby. You had a chance. What? Lighting the stage turns off first. I was in a queue, and then this one. Clue, and then this one. The lights are out. Gee, you think? You think Jericho? It's snowing. The snow is falling, signifying a tear tail of sting somewhere. We think we get, we're all looking oh, look at him. To see where he's Tough guys on stage in the fucking uh, ring, the and then Sting comes out. They revert to little bitches. Man. Every time he goes in the ring, what do they do? Head for the hills every time. They can still surround Sting. I get that he can't take bumps right now. Maybe he can, but they're, they're, they're holding out for that. They can, they can surround him and go like this and punk him out and all that stuff and not touch him. But then they always go up to the thing. It's like, what, are they, are they making sure that they're safe? And is this what uh, Sting is relegated to? Every uh, week? Comes out with a bat, silent. They run for the hills. That's it. Boy, went from that great uh, debut to now. You know, if they keep doing this, if they keep doing this, people are gonna lose interest and stay. What is, especially in this day and age where people don't want to see stuff being dragged out. You know, they want it instantaneous. I can hold out a little bit, but. You know, people like me and others, the only reason why I went back to AEW is because of Sting. And this is what they're giving us? Something's gonna happen. Let's see if the uh, company's uh, Darby next week to the ring. For the second uh, AEW uh, New Year Smash thing. And then he does that. 
He's not trying to um, figure him out anymore. Is he trying to figure him out now still? He did that at the initial thing when he made his debut. He's looking at Darby. Darby stands up and then he looks both both sides of his face because one's painted and the other one isn't. Trying to figure him out. He still hasn't figured him out yet? Or is he saying, he's looking at him going, are we going to do this? You know, are we going to get, we're going to come together and we're going to take these guys out? Or you're going to take them out? You know, I'm saying, I'm saying. Something has to be done with this. No, no, you can't just keep dragging it out like this. You know, like I said, I could deal with it. I can deal with it stretching out. But, you know, this generation now, people now, you know, when you, you know, when they type away and they want stuff like that instantaneously. I'll look up for something. I'm going to look for something. Boom, it pops up. That's what people are used to nowadays, this generation. That's why sometimes people get tired and they get fed up right away with storylines and wrestling because they don't get to the point. Whatever their their deal is, whatever they're trying to get to, whatever end result, they need to bring it out soon, sooner sooner rather than later. Is Sting gonna wrestle? Is he in Darby's corner, or is it just because he hates Taz and his group so bad, more that he's gonna do that for anybody that's being surrounded by those guys? And what the fuck was up with that damn whole thing of just being a weight in? All it was, it was just for a way to set up a storyline or set up a situation where Darby is going to get his ass beat. Why would you have a weight well, a way in? This isn't a weight uh, thing. You know, oh, we get it. Maybe you want to show the difference in weight. We can see that. We can see that Brian Cage outweighs him by 100 pounds. We didn't need to, to weigh in to figure that out. We, everybody knows what his, his weight is. Everybody knows what Darby Allen's weight is. Yeah, this isn't the Cruiserweight title. Or they have to be 205 or less, you know. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And then Taz. Tough guy Taz, you know, like all four all four five foot nothing of Taz, you know. Hey, what are you are you making the rules now? Why does the Brian Cage have to uh be you know weighed in first? Okay, we'll we'll do it. It's your rules. Oh, tough guy. And then he, he decides to just not be tough guy no more. He goes, Okay, we'll go with your rules. What they could have did was he could have grabbed Tony Schiavone and go, you better make Darby Allen weigh in first. We ain't tight. We ain't weighing in. We don't. We wait for no man. Or we, you know, we don't make me. Mm. Well, if you don't wait with no man, then he would have weighed in. What I mean to say is, is like, yeah, man, we're not gonna let people push us around. Man, go ahead, weigh in. We ain't gonna weigh in first. But then, oh, no, we're weird. And then when 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 Sting comes in, oh, let's head for the hills. That shame stick every every damn week. There's got to be a time where, where those guys are going to have to confront Sting in the ring. Surround him at least, like I was saying earlier. Surround him. And then you can kind of punk him out. You know, go like this to him. Mm, come on, you know. And Ricky Starks, he's the guy who has that cocky attitude. And then yet, he looks like a little baby. He looks like a little girl when Sting's music hits. He's like, mm. you know, like looking around like, oh, tough guy. But then, you know, you're one of those guys that... You know, you got a big brother or a big, uh, big guy with you, and he's the one that's, um, you know, confronting the guy that you don't like, and then you're behind him going, "Yeah, come on, man." That's Ricky Starks. But then none of those guys are there. Ricky, oh, okay, please, I'm okay. No, don't, don't, don't hurt me. I've never liked that guy. I don't like any of these guys on this on that crew. I can't say I can't say much about Taz's son Hook. I haven't seen him do anything really. So, you know. The apple, you know, doesn't fall far from the tree with that. He's going, he's, you know, Hook's going to be okay, you know, because Taz was a badass in his day. Now he's just relegated to being just a guy who just talks. Oh, I saw him do that whole Taz mission thing on who was that on uh, on uh, Cody Rhodes, not too about a couple weeks ago or something like that. It was Cody or whoever it was. I saw him do that in uh, one of the clips. Okay, you know, but uh, it's like man, they got to do something with the uh, Sting now with the storyline. Stop dragging it. Seriously, you seriously got to do that. But uh, you know, I saw AEW uh, Dynamite. You know, New Year's Smash. That what they call that New Year's Eve Smash. And it was good, for once. You know, I didn't even get annoyed with uh, the Young Bucks that ma that tag team match, that uh, eight-man tag match they had with SCU. And now SCU is saying that if they lose, the first time they lose, they're gonna split up forever. Like. That's putting a lot of pressure on them. So that means that they got to win 
they didn't even win. They didn't even get the pinfall this time. They were just on a winning team. So technically, did they win? So if they're on their own, they better prove that on their own that they could win a tag team match. You know, not having your young bucks with you. Okay. And then that match for the women's title. Karl Shida and The Walking Dead herself. Uh, something out of a South Korean zombie movie, uh, Abaddon. She can't get enough of uh, that uh, Karl Shida's flesh, huh? Mm, you know? It's creepy looking, freaky looking, but like, uh, who was the one that said that? Uh, I think it was JR. That one of them said that, that uh, don't sleep on her, that she, she's definitely going to be. You know, someone that's going to, uh, you know, te technically pretty much uh, saying uh, to the point that she's going to be a champion one day. She's going to be someone to be reckoned with, and I agree. You know. Yeah, but it was okay. Like I said, um, all of it. Uh, those two, uh, you know, uh, the, the women's match, I think it was the best uh, match of the evening. But, uh, you know, AW uh, is uh, kind of picking up slack. Picking up pace, you know. Sad events of a few past few weeks with uh, Brody Lee passing. Even Brody's son, Brody Jr., was kind of calling out uh, Marco's stunt. And I looked at that and I go, "Damn, Marco's finally has somebody that he can match match up to and wrestle with." Although the little sucker is a, is a, you know, he carries his own in the ring with the you know the big size dudes, you know. But uh, I like how Mark, uh, you know, Brody Lee's son was. I don't know what you use to use telling him some things and trying to teach him something. Yeah, he said, I could teach you something. I think, does you know what he said? Little guy. But then again, his, his dad has probably been teaching him since he was a little toddler, probably. He probably can go. But he signed with the of AEW. As soon as he gets uh, uh, at that age, maybe 18. So that's another, what? That's another um, eight years from now. He'd be ready to go. I say put him in the ring. I say, you know, not, 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 not with the, you know, not just uh, exhibition match, a friendly thing, you know, him and, uh, you know, I don't know, him and Marco, Marco will go easy on him. You gotta remember that Eddie Guerrero and uh, Chavo Guerrero, Eddie, Eddie was nine and Chavo was six, and they were putting on exhibitions in Mexico before the big, before the main events and before the, you know, the major wrestlers there, then were, you know, wrestling. So, uh, anything can go, anything can happen, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's my uh, video where uh, you know, Sting came to the aid of Darby again. That's happened like previous, uh, you know, previous week. They were just in the back, and then of course when he first uh, debuted. So uh, let's think. Get Sting. You know, Sting. I think Sting can throw a punch, right? I think Sting could throw a kick. That's not going to do anything to his back. And those guys can sell the hell out of it, you know. Hit him, he hits him real lightly, but then those guys start flying around. You know? Something, let him get, get, let's get some physicality out of him. Not much, but you know, something. Cause him coming out, it's like, it's gonna wear out his, uh, it's, what do you call it, it's, um, what's that word? But it's just like, it's gonna wear out. It's gonna wear, it's gonna wear that itself out and you're not gonna care no more that he comes out with the ominous music and the, Everything turning off the lights and all that. But again, you know, that's my video. And for those of you who stopped by, checked it out, appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care. Mm -hmm.